Hi guys, today is Tuesday. It is, I don't even know what the date is. The 26th, you guys. <laughs> okay, so I am about to go get micro needling done. And I know I told you guys a long time ago that I was gonna try to film some of it. You can get them like four weeks apart. I've only had three ever. I think, or is this my third one? I'm not sure. But anyway, it kind of gets a little intense even though they numb your face. So I'm gonna film as much as I can and she's going to talk about the process. So yeah, I hope it turns out. But anyway, I've been wanting to um, share this with you guys for a long time. Yeah, last year I had, I had it done twice. This will be my third one. But I'm gonna do like three and I'm going to do three microneedling sessions, six weeks apart, and we're gonna, of course, do my face and concentrate on my jawline and under here. I'm gonna be on my way. It's about time to leave. I have on a little mascara and that's it. So nothing on my face. I don't have like moisturizer or anything. I'll show you what my look is today. Okay guys, so my look today, I just have my hair pulled back, no makeup, just a little mascara. I've got on my earrings from Ahava Jewels, the Gucci ones, love these. And just a cropped little sweatshirt. Um, it's the school that my grandson plays and they are state champions. And until last week they held a national title for the most games ever won. I'm real proud of them. But anyway, I have on a new pair, whoops, I have on a new pair of my workout pants I've gotten into the Gymshark and I just wore them because I wanted to, but they're really cute. And I'm carrying my Gucci tote. So this is just my look. I just wanna be, it's always kind of cold in there, but I really like this Gymshark stuff, you guys. And I'll, I have on my white Golden Goose. These are just the solid white ones that Keith bought me. But this is my look. Yeah, so let's just be on our way and next stop, we will be at the clinic. Okay guys, so I just pulled in here. I'm sitting in the parking lot. I have a few minutes before I have to go in. So Michelle is just going to explain a little bit about the procedure. And like I said earlier, I will uh, film as much as I can. I hope this is showing up. The It's so bright out here, I can't really tell what I'm filming. But anyway, you guys, I'll see you in there in a bit. Okay guys, I'm in the doctor's office and they put numbing cream all over my face, under here and down to about right here and where my jawline is. So I'm just hanging out in here waiting for Michelle to come in and then we will get started. Okay, so Michelle just came in and she took my blood. So what I'm actually doing is micro needling with PRP with the platelet rich uh, blood cells and she will explain all that so yeah she's gonna spin it and then I'm still numbing a bit so I got me some water here and she'll be in in a minute and she will explain it better this is my number one anti-aging secret I get asked all the time what do you do to your skin and this is my number one. You know, in the video the other day, I talked about vitamin C and microneedling, but those two combinations, you guys, it's the bomb. So, just gonna sit in here and numb a bit, and she'll be in in a little bit. I lost one of my earrings. It went flying in the other room when she was putting this on. So, I took my Gucci earrings off. Or Gucci, Ahava Gucci earrings. So one thing that I have learned through experience, if you guys get this done, never lick your lips. Because somehow, some of that numbing, yucky tasting numbing cream gets on your lips. I kind of licked them. Not as bad as last time. Never lick your lips. Don't forget. So never lick your lips. So a week, 
next week on Monday, I'm gonna come back and get my Botox. So she said, you can't get Botox and then do microneedling, but you can do microneedling and get Botox in the same day. I didn't know that, but he's not here today. So I'll come back on Monday and get my Botox. Oh gosh, I licked my lips, my lips, and now my tongue's numb. Never lick your lips. Whew. It doesn't taste good. There's the tray. All right, so Michelle is in here and she already drew my blood and she's just gonna explain exactly what it is, the process. Thanks, Michelle. <laughs> Okay, so this is our microneedling pen and the tip that we use. Um, it's got anywhere from, you can get it with anywhere from 16 to like 42 different little needles, the different heads for, or um, different sizes for different things. Mm -hmm. um, so what it typically is used for is to resurface skin, to help polish out fine lines and wrinkles, to help thicken the skin, to promote collagen and elastin mm -hmm. um, regrowth in our body. Right. Um, as we age, of course, we all know we lose collagen, we lose elastin, which is what makes the sagginess of our skin. Yeah. Um, starts to we start to show crepiness in our skin, fine lines, wrinkles, all that good stuff. Mm -hmm. So what I do is I draw your blood, I spin it down, and it separates the red, the white, and the platelet-rich plasma, which mm -hmm. is what we use to reinfuse into the skin. Okay. Um, so in the platelet-rich plasma, it has growth cell, growth factor and stem cells in it. Mm -hmm. And so as we do the treatment, it kind of is a controlled trauma to your skin. Right. So your body wants to heal it, so it sends white blood cells to heal it, which has the stem cells and growth factor in it. Right. As I infuse the PRP back in it, which also has those things, they mm -hmm. reconnect with each other and kind of like on a hyper stimulated level, mm -hmm. they quickly start to reproduce things to heal our skin. Yeah. Um, you're usually typically red for the first day. The second day you're less red. The third day it's almost not yeah. even, you can't even tell it. It takes about um, 10 to 14 days to completely seal everything back off and to heal over. Mm -hmm. But one treatment can take up to three months to totally do the full circle of what it's going to do. Right. You'll start seeing superficial results within like three to five days as right. far as like the texture, the tone. Right. Um, H -H I have. Sunspots. Yeah. I like to say sun because I have them. And if yeah, I say age, me too. Makes me feel Fun, yeah, I have both. <laughs> That's right. So um, this is out of all the years that I've been doing skincare, this is my favorite treatment yes. that I've ever done, just because I yes. see such fast results and it's and amazing results. Yeah, That's my favorite. and it's cumulative, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, and so I am gonna actually do like three rounds of it, I think. Right. So what is the best like amount of time to go in between? Um, if you're trying to heal something, fix something, reverse something, yeah. you typically like every five to six weeks in between each okay. one. Okay. Uh huh. Um, and then once you get to kind of where you know you want to be or mm -hmm. you get satisfied with mm -hmm. the results that you have you can do like once a year maybe okay. twice a year just for okay maintenance okay um but every yeah. five to six weeks is what we do when okay. we're doing a series to create things like uh my arms that i had done mm -hmm. okay because I, I shared with uh, my arm journey right. so mm -hmm. i do need to start doing my uh my scars right. okay all right so it's good you can use it for old scars, new scars, surgical scars, trauma uh -huh. scars, acne wow. scars. Yeah. Um, we do it a lot for men and women on your scalp. You can use it, uh, the microneedling with PRP to help regrow hair. Re yes. hair. As long as the, the scalp is not slick, smooth, right. with right. no growth of follicles right. at all, right. you can start to re-stimulate. So when we do that, what happens is I do the part that I do, and then Dr. Nisa actually re-injects the PRP directly into the scalp. Oh, wow. So it helps regenerate those um, hair follicles. Wow. So I might support. do that, because my hair's always been thinner on top. You have a lot of hair. Yeah, I know, but on top. <laughs> <laughs> got a lot of hair. <laughs> okay, Michelle is awesome, so I would... I would highly suggest this treatment. Yes, um, my favorite. The first time that I ever did it, I swear within three days I couldn't believe it. So, yeah, I. Um, so I'm just going to show a bit of it, and uh, it gets a little intense. So it doesn't hurt. Oh yeah. Uh -huh. This is the actually this is the PRP, the gold part. They call it liquid gold. Yeah. So that's what we use to reinfuse that, the red blood, white blood, <gasps> and um, okay. okay, the PRP. Wow. Okay. Yep. Wow, that's amazing. Yep. I need all the liquid gold that's I can right. get, Michelle. We love gold. Yes. <laughs> all right, I'll just turn the camera this way. Yeah. I mean, it doesn't hurt, but it can get a little intense. 
But you know what? It's worth it. <laughs> and the numbing cream is amazing that we use. Yeah. Not everywhere it uses numbing cream. And oh. certainly not everywhere it uses the same numbing cream that we have. Oh so my gosh. It does make a big difference. Yeah. In yeah. the comfort level of it for sure. My lips are numb. Yeah. <laughs> And well, my this tongue. Is the same numbing cream that we use when we actually inject lips. So, oh, so it's, wow. it's good stuff. You know, I could use a little injected my lips too. Well, if I could touch do that up for you, I would definitely hook you up. I bet today. you could, Michelle. <laughs> I bet I could too. <laughs> Alabama just won't let me. <laughs> you have to be an actual MD in Alabama. I know. To well, you're practically an MD. Well, so. I play one all day long. <laughs> Okay, so now I've wiped off the numbing cream that was on there and we're applying a little bit of the plasma, platelet rich plasma on her forehead. Mm -hmm. And then I will start my pen. And mm -hmm. I'll get it to the right depth that I want it. Mm -hmm. And then we will get started. How deep does it How go? That? Um, it can go up to like three and a half millimeters. Wow. But on your forehead and around your eyes, Mm -hmm. It's less, so um, it's not even a half of here. Oh, okay. But then as you go where the more fleshy part of your face is, then I can go deeper. Oh, okay. go deeper everywhere else. I don't even feel anything. Yeah. I'm going to turn it up just a little bit. Okay. Still mm -hmm. okay? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it feels good. A lot of people, if we're not talking, which is rare, mm -hmm. will go to sleep. They uh -huh. say it feels just like a little facial massage. Yeah. The worst. Worst people ever say is it just feels kind of like a cat's tongue. Yeah. Like a little scratchy. That is kind of how that yeah. feels. Just a little bit. I've done it on myself twice only. I just don't like to heal in front of people. I don't yeah. like to take the downtime. Right. But I've, I've never felt it. Like I haven't felt anything when I've done it to myself. And I go pretty deep. I'm pretty aggressive when I do it to myself. Are you? Because hmm. I'm, I'm probably more aggressive on other people than most places are. But I figure you're numb. You don't feel it. No. You're paying good money to have mm -hmm. results and I want results. So. Yeah. Yeah. No pain, no gain. That's right. <laughs> That's right. Minimal pain, though. It, I mean, I don't feel any pain. Yeah. I feel like around the jawline is kind of where... Is it? Most of the time, if anybody ever says anything, it's like right around the hairline or right around your lips. But I'm really not in that area that long. Mm -hmm. So everybody's mm -hmm. can tolerate it pretty okay. Mm -hmm. Wipe all the and I only wipe off the area that I'm working on at the at that time. That way, everything yeah. else is staying numb okay. and continuing to numb. I just wouldn't want to clean the whole face off. Oh, right. And then that be unnumb, like you know, any of the numbing wear off before I get there. Which oh, okay. With this numbing cream, it's medical grade, so it would take longer. I just I, that's just my that's just the way I've always done it. The way you do it. Uh -huh. Turn this way a little bit for me. Okay. And usually when farther. I come, we just talk about other stuff because we visit. That's right. <laughs> We're normally not working, right? I know. You're not working. I'm, I'm not working, working, but you're not. Yeah. Man, I've worked all week this week. That's a good thing, man. Right? Mm-hmm. And so, I know I have a lot of times people will say, I've never even watched anything on it. I really don't know what to expect. And then they'll go mm -hmm. home before they come in to have it done and they've watched videos. I'm like, don't do that. I know. I mean, it looks so much more gory. Mm -hmm. And y'all never see that. Like, you mm -hmm. never see what I see. So by the time I'm done, you're cleaned up and ready to go. So you would never see that anyway. Right. So people will say, oh my gosh, I didn't know what to expect. And I'll say, well, you shouldn't have. That doesn't. <laughs> you just don't even uh -huh. watch it. I, I think I was a little scared the first time. You were. Mm-hmm. But then, I mean, after the first few minutes, everybody realizes it's, it's not bad. Yeah, it's not. Look, it is so worth it. What is your top skin tip besides this? Um, a good cleanser and a good moisturizer. Mm -hmm. Of course, sunscreen, but mm -hmm. I mean, I can't mm -hmm. really preach that too much to people because I'm not the best at sunscreen. Mm -hmm. I'm doing better the older I get. Yeah, but, um, me too. But I still enjoy the tan. I still enjoy being out in the sun. I know. So, Me in too. In order to do it, we just have to figure out ways to reverse what we've done in the past. Yeah. <laughs> and know better just from going forward. Mm-hmm. Um, as far as wrinkles, like on your forehead, lines around your forehead or your eyes, definitely Botox. Mm -hmm. Um people, even young people, they'll say, like, both of my daughters, it's just genetic, the lines between our eyes. When we think, when we listen, when we talk, whatever right. work, we squint. Mm -hmm. So, my youngest daughter's almost 23, and the oldest is 25, and 
both of theirs are worse than mine was even before I got Botox. Oh, really? And so I tell them all the time they need, you know, why don't you just come and let Dr. Nice do some Botox? And they'll say, oh my gosh, we're too young. But the thing is, it's preventative treatment. Exactly. If you fix it and stop it in your 20s, then you don't have to worry about it as much in your 40s. Exactly. So it's just, I think, a misconceived notion that you have to wait till it's bad before you do anything. Mm hmm Stop it before it gets bad. Mm hmm And then you, it's less expensive. You have less wear and tear on your face. Exactly. Um, it doesn't hurt. It takes literally about five minutes to do Botox. Yep. Um, to me, if I had to decide between spending money on that or something crazy, I would much rather spend money on keeping my face looking right than me too. spending on crazy stuff. I would rather my face look good right. than have tons of other things. Yeah. I mean, our face is... That tells everything. I know. So, yeah, good skin is, is a big deal. And you know, that is really, it, when I get a compliment, it usually has to do with my skin. Yeah. And that, you know, that's exciting. Yeah. I think so too. Yeah, I don't feel anything. Just, like I said, a little cat tongue. Mm -hmm. All right, I'm going to turn it off for a minute. Okay. Okay, so at this point, we're just wiping off everything from where we just finished up the treatment. Mm -hmm. And once I get everything good and cleaned and wiped off, I will apply a little bit of the PRP that we have left. I always use most everything and save about a third mm -hmm. um, of one of the tubes mm -hmm. to reapply at the end. And mm -hmm. then I cover that with the healing balm, the elastin healing balm that we have. Mm -hmm. And so after Watch we finish, that one piercing. There. after we finish, <laughs> um, we don't do any cleaning today. You won't wash your face at all today. You can use the healing balm, the recovery balm, all day long if you need to. Okay. Because sometimes it feels like a little light sunburn once all the numbing cream wears mm -hmm. off. Mm -hmm. um, and then you'll begin to cleanse it in the morning with the elastin cleanser, and then tomorrow night with the elastin cleanser, and then you use balm all day long. Okay. Um, we do that for three to four days. We avoid any kind of makeup. Um, right. You can wear eye makeup, lip make, lipstick, yeah. uh, or lip gloss. We just don't want to do any kind of foundation or anything that's going to go directly on your skin on the biggest part of your face because we don't want to take any chance of any kind of irritation, rashes, um, infection, anything like that. Mm -hmm. Um, so now that we've got the PRP smudged on there really good, we'll mm -hmm. take the Elastin mm. Healing Recovery Balm. Okay. This actually helps your body produce collagen a little faster. It helps heal faster. Um, it's Elastin is just a really good skincare mm -hmm. line. We, we sell that in Revision here at mm -hmm. um, our office. So mm -hmm. that's my two favorite. The, yeah, mine too. The Elastin Cleanser is my favorite hands down cleanser that I I've ever used. I got some last time I was here. Mm -hmm. And I so still ha it lasts forever. It does last forever. It yeah. only takes about the size of a pea. I know. It'll do your entire face, yep. neck, chest. Um, yep. I keep a little nail brush next to my sink and in my bathtub and I scrub the tops of my hands with it mm. Um, mm. to keep all the dead skin off there all the because we can lie about our face hey, we can I lie about, our, about that we can lie about our boobs and belly oh. but neck decollete yep. and hands right there's nothing we can do to right we can do microneedling stuff can we like do, that I was gonna but, say can I do yeah. microneedling on my decollete we can mm -hmm. Ooh, we can do it there we can do it on your hands Ooh. um anywhere like that all right so we was talking a few minutes ago um, off camera, of course, about mm -hmm. Botox and filler. And I know mm -hmm. I have a lot of people ask me questions a lot of, about Botox and filler. Mm -hmm. So how I always describe it to people is filler fills and mm -hmm. Botox freezes. Mm -hmm. So typically you can get a few units like around your lip to do like a small lip flip. It kind of just yeah pulls the lip up just a little bit to roll it out. But right, right. Normally... Botox goes from your cheekbones up, so mm -hmm. your crow's feet, your 11s, and your whole forehead. Right. And filler goes from your cheekbones down. Right. So in your laugh lines here, you can get in your lips, little um, lines around your mouth. Mm -hmm. You can do filler under your eyes if you want to. Mm -hmm. um, you have to be really careful about the doctor you choose for that because a lot Ooh. of times it'll look very not natural. Oh, yeah. Um, personally, I would rather see... Um, fat transfer under the eyes it oh, just really? looks more normal oh. and more natural it lasts anywhere from three to eight years depending on oh. the person where filler lasts anywhere from nine so to twelve so if i ever months. need that i just yeah. yeah and so with that it's not like a true um liposuction they can just go in with a syringe pull out some fat process it down and then re-inject it wow so they can re-inject it in your cheekbones to make those look more youthful around your brow bone mm -hmm. under the eyes mm -hmm. um in your smile lines here you wouldn't want to put it in your lips because it just doesn't really last oh, okay um as long so filler is 
better for lips than mm -hmm. than fat transfer. But wow. um, I know I was we was talking earlier and I said I have a lot of people say, Oh, I just rather have filler on my forehead, get rid of those wrinkles. You can't do that. <laughs> Um, the thing is, is that the filler is thick, so it can occlude blood vessels and blood flow, which oh. will then cause necrosis, your skin to die. Wow. So you don't want you, that. Oh, no. <laughs> and we you don't, don't want that. You don't want people who will say, oh, well, I'd rather just have Botox around my lips. Okay, well, uh -huh. again, you're going to end up no fun being made, but you're right. going to have had a stroke because right. it paralyzes muscles. No, I know. Right. So, right. Um, that's why Botox lasts anywhere from three to four months, typically, on most people, because it goes in and it kind of paralyzes and mm -hmm. deadens those muscles mm -hmm. to prevent those wrinkles from happening. Mm -hmm. If you can't raise your brows, you're not making these wrinkles. Right. So, over time, if you're consistent with it, every three to four months, you keep it on board, mm -hmm. everything just gets smoothed out. Mm -hmm. wrinkles and are gone. see, you know what? I've went about six months. Yep. Look, looks like a road yep. map. It does not look like a road map. <laughs> but you know the difference of what yours looks yeah. like when oh, you're yeah. consistent every three I months. I can tell, like, yeah. on my videos. Yeah. The difference. I'm like, oh, God. Yeah. yeah. So, but yeah, I love Botox. Yeah, I Botox love it all. is the best. I love it all. And you can go to the rewards program um, that oh, Botox yeah. offers called Allie. It's A L L E dot com. Mm -hmm. You can sign up for that. There's always. Uh, discounts, there's coupons. Every time you get an injection done right. or certain services, you get points. Yep. Those points turn into coupons. So every 100 points is $10 off. Yeah. November the 17th, they're going to be having a big sale all day. You buy a, I want to say it's um, a $100 gift card for $50. You can buy one, oh. but once those are sold out, you can buy, I want to say it's a $125 gift card for $75. Oh, um, wow. That okay. can go for anything, but, filler or Botox. Okay. The Botox ones are just for Botox. Yeah. The other ones are going to yeah. be for either or. So I want to get my 17th. lips done, but I kind of want to wait. I want to get my Botox first, mm -hmm. and then, even though, I might get a lip flip with yeah. the Botox. I mean, Do I can barely tell, but yeah. yeah. But it does. I mean, it's subtle. Yeah. You know what it I is mean. Subtle. But I want to get my lips done, maybe a little. Definitely around before the holidays. The holidays. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Well, thank you, Santa. thank you so much, Michelle. You're welcome. So, uh, yeah, she's awesome. You guys, okay, it's so bright out here. I don't know if you if it's picking up anything. Oops, if it's picking up anything out here. My lips are numb. My entire face is numb. I'll film it when I get home. But my face is pretty red. <laughs> but it didn't take that long, so um yeah. I'm going to go home now and just kick back and relax and I'll I'll film it before I end this video. Okay guys, I just got home, just walked in the door, put all my stuff here, and I'm really just taking a look at my face. So see, the superficial damage, and then it will start regenerating, tightening. Ooh, you guys, my face, like my lips are numb. Is it better in front of the window? Nope. Okay. My lips are really numb, my face is numb, and I have a headache. Every time I ever get this done, I always end up with a headache. I didn't film all of it because it does get kind of intense around the jawline, but uh, yeah, this is what I look like, and I'll be putting some healing balm on later this evening that I had left over from last time. And I'm going to take an ibuprofen. And I always drink a lot of water when I have this done. But anyway, you guys, that was round number one. Now I'm going to go back, maybe in a week or two, and I'm going to have my scars done on my arms where my surgery is. But um, I haven't talked to you guys about this much, but I'm going to, he's going to look at my arms because right around where my elbows are, are some little pucks, like puckers, like little fatty areas that I don't like and he's gonna do some skin tight there. So I might have to wait to get the micro needling done on my arms. But anyway, you guys, this is how I look today. It'll be red tomorrow, but it gets better every day. And I don't usually put on any makeup until, I usually go about three days, so. And anyway, even more sometimes, so. Yeah, I'm gonna go take an ibuprofen and um, if you guys have any questions, leave it in the comments section below.